if orange must be worn. Love you. Love you, bye. Deer Camp 2023, headed up with the Deer Shack. We're gonna be camping up in Florence County again for the weekend. Come along with us, see what we get. It's a great day to play hooky. Yeah! Yep! You found playing hooky sport fishing. My name is Captain Dave Lutze. I run a charter fishing boat out on Lake Michigan out of Sheboygan, Wisconsin, targeting trout and salmon. I love to fish, but you'll find other outdoor activities highlighted on the channel as well. Don't forget to subscribe if you like what you see. Thanks for coming along with me on my adventures. Yeah! Friday, November 17th, 6.50 a.m. Left my house at about 6.05, 6.10. So far, smooth sailing. Just getting through Green Bay now. Plan to be at camp just a little after 9 a.m. Be a good time. Looking for the elusive whitetail buck. No doe tags in that area, so only bucks for us. We've seen a lot of deer sign up there so far scouting. Uh, there, there isn't a great deer herd up there, so chances are if we see even a three inch low antler point, we'll probably have to put that down for some camp meat. So Saturday night for supper, got a surprise for all the guys. Thanks to everybody for watching and liking and subscribing. Uh, I was able to make a little bit of change on the videos and uh, want to give back to the guys in the camp and hope you stick around to see that. Got an enclosed trailer to haul up the shack this year, so that's new. Obviously not a new trailer, but new to us. This is Neil's vehicle. He's dragging along a trailer as well. And here we got the generator. Are you ready to go now or what? Mm-hmm. Well, we just filled up gas in Wasaki, uh, headed on the rest of the way here, just to kind of fill you in and for my sake, for remembering. Uh, the forecast for the weekend is supposed to be high temps, like 43, 45 degrees or something, which I'm excited about. Usually I do a little bit better when it's warmer because then there's no snow. I sit in a place that's really open and the snow really hinders my ability to shoot deer because usually they can see me if there's snow on the ground so um, I'm looking forward to that and also I can sit quite a bit longer I don't really like sitting out all that much um, I deer hunt for the tradition we come up here uh, because of the tradition the deer aren't the main focus it's more getting together with the guys and uh, seeing what happens really we don't scout out here all that much. We maybe make a trip one or two times in the fall, and uh, it's kind of just a crapshoot, basically. We don't know what's up here, but having the little warmer temperatures is definitely going to help me, for sure, to see deer. Uh, Memory Lane. Memory Lane. Town of Fence. Yobes.
What do you got for lunch there, Neil? Hot bologna sandwich. Little sandwich pal on there? Little sandwich pal. Anybody you want to say hi to? Hi, Paul. Hi, Tom. Hi, Mark. Mark, could you say hi to Randy for me? Matt's bringing his chair into his stand, but I really don't like to go into my stand at all the day before. I think it kind of rustles things up, so I'm not going in. But Matt's bringing his chair in. You like that? Louise, he's giving her a sip. Anybody see anything or any trails or anything while you're in there? Lots of trails. I saw some, some trails. Oh. My old stand by the swamp did not look as good as out here. Are so you sitting up here now? Yeah. Hello, Richard Lutze. 51 years now that I've been coming up here. And uh, we're going to have a good camp, I can tell. DJ Mongo. Mongo! This is year 15 out of a possible 20. Hopefully uh, we get something this year, finally. Neil Henschel, I'd like to congratulate Dave on 100,000 views on last year's video. Um, and I think somebody should mention the little people that are involved. And if you scan this crowd, we don't have little people, so I'm not even going to mention them. <laughs> Matt, let's see signing in for Deer Camp 2023. Should be a good year. Thank you, Daniel Butler. Lee Henschel signing in. Year 54 total hunting. Uh, I had lung problems, so I'm so glad to be back. For my 47th year, I had blood clots last year. So I'm, I'm just glad to be back. Dan Kilsmeyer up here as long as my buddy Dave almost voted off the island my first year. And now we're just, you know, make it a yearly thing and we have a good time. Let's have some, let's uh, get some deer. Let's have some fun. And Captain Dave, also known as uh, the deer camp saver of 08 and also known as the guy that shot two bucks in one day. Really nice big bucks. And uh, I, I would say probably the deer killer of the camp. So I'm looking uh, forward to I'd trying like to... Dipper. No. keep my legacy going and really nail them and uh, staple these guys asses to their face. Some people were wondering about the construction of our camp and I guess maybe I haven't done a good job of showing what the outside looks like. These are panels uh, four feet wide and they're six feet tall and uh, they're just bolted together. There's a bolt about here somewhere in here and then at the bottom and we just go around and Put up one and then go to the next and go to the next and go to the next then there's trusses actually inside which you probably saw during the setup and that holds our tar tarp on and then we also have insulation between the tarp and those trusses so you can see each one of these is four feet wide and they're they're all bolted together you got the generator sitting on the trailer back here and that gives us electricity obviously we're running propane heat and uh, that's, uh, that's keeping us warm at night. We're double tarped. Uh, back before we double tarped, we had a lot of condensation and kind of ended up wet by the morning because it would rain down on us. Inside the camp, we have everything a shack should have, including windows. Our door is a screen door that we put sheet insulation inside and then staple black plastic over the top to keep the insulation in. The bungees are important to make a self-closing door because that had been an issue a time or two in the past. We have gables on either end of the roof and you can see the trusses there as well. My dad made metal brackets to put along the top of the panels to help keep them from bowing out or caving in and it also acts as a rest for our trusses to slide into. At the top of three panels on each side we have an eye bolt which we run ratchet straps through to help keep the panels from bowing out as well. We have foam sheet insulation between the trusses and the tarps to keep heat from escaping through the roof. Additionally, we have two ceiling fans that are powered by a deep cycle battery that keeps the warm air on the ceiling circulating down toward the floor and that way we can be running it at night when the generator is off. We also have several lights strung up along the ceiling to keep the place very well lit when the generator is on. Our kitchen area folds out on a stand with shelves on either side and all the dishes necessary for our camp meals. We have plenty of storage shelves for our food products and other accessories. 
We have a Coleman camp stove for the side dishes like our sweet corn and also the bologna for our sandwiches. Then we have more storage shelves for the snacks and adult beverages for the camp. Our bunks were homemade as well. And here's the panel that we dedicated to the time that Zippy missed Friday fish. Yeah. Zip, Buck Jam, and Wiener stayed nestled in their bunks. Camp Teardown started approximately 7.30 while the hunters were still in the woods. Dick and David were the only two that hunted, but they saw the same amount of deer as those that didn't. The all, end. All those in favor of the no, all those in favor of the minutes from last year's deer camp say aye. 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 Motion carries. I like that there were no amendments either. That's that's nice. Guys are just finishing up some liars dice. That's a pretty big tradition. Every year they play for a couple hours and uh, Zippy's headed out to do the grilling of the burgers. I think I wasn't recording for supper. We had supper, burgers, beans. Now we're all kind of preparing for bedtime. About time to hit the fart sacks. You got yourself a sandwich? I just got All right, guys, go get them. Good luck. Good Here. luck, Matthew. You're going to need it. Matthew? <laughs> I hope I shoot two big Good bucks luck. today. It's about 6.40 on Saturday, November 18th, opening day. Already had one come through about five minutes ago. Looks promising. Fifteen a.m. and I haven't seen anything for like three or three and a half hours. So I'm gonna pick my dad up and we're gonna go in and have a little bit of a lunch. And for the afternoon sit on opening day, Saturday, November 18th, 2023. Still looking for the big buck. I haven't even seen a little bit of an antler yet, but it's coming. Well, didn't see anything for the afternoon. I guess we'll have to check in with the rest of the guys back at camp and see if they saw anything. Four, four. <laughs> well, anybody see anything or what? We've seen one. We saw one, huh? We've seen one on the way out. Sun, I was just, sun we told these down. guys, we stopped north of the classes camp. DJ and I said, let's look at maybe sitting here. And we drove maybe 30 hours in church to Dredo Bar. Found it out across and went right down that the first row. You see anything, Lee? Nope. You see anything, DJ? Yeah, I'm gonna chase the same one. Oh. Dave wants us to uh, reminisce some of our hunting traditions, and uh, I just have three of them that I thought of today while sitting on the stand and seeing absolutely nothing. In 1981 or 82, I shot the biggest buck of my life way, way back in. 
And the next year, because this is public land, I went and sat on the same stand, and somebody came and sat on the ridge just next to me. And he shot a bigger buck than what I did. And I, at, since then, I have not hunted that stand ever again. But every year when we come up scouting, I have to go down there and check it out. That is one of my traditions. Another one is, I always have to bring the chocolate chip cookies up. And uh, when my daughter was old enough to help, we started making chocolate chip cookies and they were Jamie's cookies. Well, she is out of college and has a nine-year-old and a six-year-old, but they still are Jamie's cookies. And the third one is the name of the stands that we have. And just an example of there, my nephew Tony came up one year with us and uh, he hadn't seen any deer to shoot at opening day and Richard and I had each shot a buck on our stands and uh, we had this third stand set up not too far away so on Sunday morning we put him out on that stand and he shot an eight point buck on that stand and he came back the next year and didn't get anything but after that his military career he never came back hunting but to this day which is probably about 25 years later that is still the Tony stand. These are the stakes that you guys got us by watching and liking and stuff. Here they go. There's not going to be enough room on this grill. Going to have to do her in two. Careful, that's over handling. You're overcrowding. We'll be able to make her work. We'll get it on here. But you're gonna have to move the ones in the middle, obviously. Here, BS while I go in and get the aluminum pole. Yes, what am I BSing about? I got nothing, my friend. I got nothing. I'm just here as an innocent bystander. I hope this all goes well. Oh, well, deer asshole. camp tradition that I usually bring up is a box of rags, but I broke that tradition this year. I did not bring said box of rags. And usually I provide Sunday night dinner, and sometimes I miss Friday dinner because there's a little liquor involved. But it's all good. We always got something that happens up here. Something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. What do you bring to this camp? I, I, oh, my strength. <laughs> uh, I usually bring a book of some sort. I didn't read it today because my hands were a little too cold to crack it open. Two minutes we're at. We're at two minutes right we're now. We're at two. Let's do a major move and rotate. Get them out of the middle. Like over handlings to me. You gotta rest them. Rest them. You gotta rest them. That way. We need a cop over here because they're doing some resting. That way the juice stays in the steak. It doesn't get all over your plate. How long has it got to rest? Five minutes. So along with the ribeyes tonight, we got mashed taters. Do you check for they're not mashed yet. We got applesauce. We got milk. Oh, we're not having mashed. Okay, so they're just gonna be taters. Oh, and oh, this is a wheat corn. Ching! I think the smallest one. The smallest one, that one might be it. Because I'm not large. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Bar of wire french fries. You gotta have a pretty big one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, turn the music off so I can have that minor prayer. Minor prayer. Thank you. There's no such thing as a line or format. This one? Oh. Ready? 
Uh, a ghost well, tale is you. normally longer See you than guys. a bus. Coming out tomorrow? Oh, yeah, to to play, uh, I hope you have fun. What did we say we're going to play tomorrow? Hope you learned oh, some shoes. Oh, so you know that. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Yeah. Good to meet you. Yeah. 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 What's tomorrow? Sunday? Yeah. 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 I might make it. pretty corrupted. Jesus. And on that note, we're going to be taking off here. Come back now, you hear? We played cards for quite some time. It's about 10 p.m. We're about ready to hit the fart sacks. We're back at it tomorrow. We're gonna get something, I'm guessing. Sunday morning, ham and eggs for breakfast. And other materials as well. How you feel, DJ? Rough. You gonna get the big buck today? Hopefully. Yep! Yep! Why did we need to know the color oh, no. of the chair? Oh no! Alright, we saved it. Cheese and rice. <laughs> Sunday of opening weekend of Deer Camp 2023. I sat for five hours in the morning and then another two hours in the afternoon and didn't see a single thing, not even one deer. Uh, Packers won though, so that's kind of cool. Uh, I sat this morning from 6.30 to 9.30, then we moved, but then that time I saw two doe behind me and then we got up, moved, came in for lunch and I didn't see Jack other than that. that one pile of woodpecker too. Uh, I sat from 6 a.m. until 4.50 p.m. I saw three does and the Packers won, so that's pretty cool. You guys took my thunder. I was going to talk about today's successes. Packers won. <laughs> that was pretty cool. I sat from 6 o'clock in the morning until 4.15 in the afternoon. I took a brief break to come in for a sandwich and get my headphones to listen to the Packer Victory. Did not see a single deer. Deer camp traditions. One of them, when I get out to my deer stand, I kick the dirt and I kick the leaves together. Number one, to get the leaves out of the way so they don't make a rustling noise. And I take a handful of dirt in each hand and I rub it on my shirt sleeves and on my pants and on the brim of my hat because uh, I usually sweat walking into my stand. Um, I always have full-size Kit Kats for the deer stand. And uh, I have a list. I have uh, the deer camp list, I have a clothing list, and I have a food list, and I have a separate column of picked and actually loaded so i like to make sure that uh, i'm in charge of everything and i've got everything for the camp my tradition is i bring a bottle of green apple pucker up as a victory shot if i shoot a deer i crack the bottle open and take a drink and pass it around uh, i also write the year that i first brought this bottle up so as you can see 2023 is this year so that means i got a deer last year it kind of helps me keep track of the last time i shot a deer I've been bringing up green apple pucker for a very long time. It started with my dad buying it for me before I was old enough to even drink. <laughs> my tradition is to bring some of these lovely pictures that you may have just seen on the wall. Um, various different deer and deer hunting magazine photos uh, that teach you how to recognize the different types of hair, um, blood trails, aging of the deer and over here we have well let's not talk about zippy's facebook page that's the time he didn't make um fish lunch but we have a memorial wall here and so that's all of those things get packaged in my stuff and so it's my tradition to hang all of this up and honor those who are with us in the past
It is Monday evening and Lee went home, Zippy went home, and DJ went home. Lee and DJ went home yesterday at noon and then Zippy went home today at noon. So it's just Neil, my dad, Matt, and me for this evening, Monday evening. What'd you see today? <clears throat> uh, this morning I saw two grouse and a nice big pileated woodpecker. And then in the afternoon I saw diddly, nothing at all. A helicopter, I did see a helicopter. Um, I saw a brand new scrape. Not an old one that was re-dug into, it was brand new. And um, it was right below the helicopter. <laughs> I did not see any deer today, but I did see the helicopter. <laughs> and I saw two deer tonight. One of them was, interestingly enough, had an orange collar wrapped around it. And the other one was, I'm guessing it's fun from last year, or a friend of it's, you know, from last year. It was two does two fully grown adult does and like I said one of them had a collar around it and you can see all the stuff is gone from the two zippies so we got my dad sleeping down here a catch-all we got Matt down here a catch-all and then I'm gonna be sleeping on a cot kind of in this general area We're having grilled cheese for supper tonight Matt's buttering up the bread Oh, I think we're gonna shoot a big one today. Let's go! Pieces, and then we're done for the 2023 season. <laughs> 